Hey guys, it's Melanie, welcome back. If you missed the first review of the day, um, I am doing a couple of candle reviews today just in the interest of getting out um, the last few of my holiday candle reviews for the year. Um, so I'm gonna be uh, hopefully finished before the end of December, but we'll see. I might have a couple that will be um, moved over to next year when I will be starting these holiday candle reviews much, much earlier. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably be starting in the fall. But um, if you missed my review of Cranberry, which is from the Kringle Soy line, um, I will put a link to that in the description box down below. There is also just a quick intro in that video as to why I am giving Kringle another shot. Um, there seems to be a little bit of confusion about that from some. Uh, so yeah, check out that video if you missed it. Uh, but in this one, we are talking about a country candle and we are talking about the cranberry orange. I feel like I've been burning this candle for years, you guys. The country candles are probably going to be the best bang for your buck if you are wanting a long burning candle. Um, it is a paraffin formula and paraffin wax is not my favorite. So for that particular reason, the, uh, the country candle line is not the line from Kringle that I personally gravitate towards. Um, this one was sent to me from Kringle. They sent me a few candles. This was one of them. And um, I was actually really kind of excited to get this particular scent because I, I love cranberry. Um, obviously, if you watched the cranberry review, you know that cranberry is really kind of my jam, um, both during the fall and during the holiday season. And there is nothing more, I would say, um, uh, quintessential during the holiday season than cranberry and orange together. It's definitely a holiday classic, in my opinion, to pair those two fragrances. And um, this one is no exception. This is a very pure scent to me. And I'll explain that here in a second. Um, but before we get into it, um, I'm just going to give you guys a few of the details about the paraffin formula here from Kringle because I haven't reviewed a ton of the country candles. So these are supposed to have a burn time of about uh, 150 hours. That would not shock me at all because like I said, I have been burning this particular candle for what seems like years. So like, it's been so many friggin' hours and I am barely to the halfway point. Like you can see here that I am just now kind of getting to like the halfway point. I don't have this lit for a reason and I'll tell you that reason here in a second, but um, yeah. So uh, this is a, uh, a food grade, a 100% food grade, clean burning, non-toxic paraffin wax. They do source this in North America. This is a two wick, um, as you saw there. And the jar is 100% recyclable, um, and it is a 20, uh, 24 ounce jar. So um, very similar packaging, obviously, to Yankee. Um, this is a pretty classic style of candle jar. Um, so there's that. Let's talk about their scent story here. And by the way, I will put a link to this in the description box down below. I'll also put a discount code if you guys are interested in using it. Don't use that if you're not comfortable with it. It is an affiliate code. Um, no, I don't make a butt ton of money off of you using that code. So if that makes you feel better, <laughs> there you go. I, I signed up for their ambassador program because it allows me to give a coupon code to you guys. So if you're interested in purchasing these candles, you can save a little bit of money. Also, you can usually combine them with most of their sales. So it'll save you a little bit more money if you're interested, but you don't have to use it, just so you know. <laughs> it's totally optional. Um, okay, cranberry orange. Uh, their scent description is, fresh tart cranberry and mandarin is enhanced with a zest of lemon as clementine, strawberry, and pomegranate brightens cranberry orange. Vanilla, neroli, and musk adds an herbal and earthy warmth. 
So your top notes here are tart cranberries, mandarin, and lemon zest. Um, ooh, lemon with two M's. Ooh, I just spotted a typo on the website. Um, yeah, I think lemon is just with one M. <laughs> your mid notes are uh, bright clementine, uh, strawberry, and pomegranate, and your base notes are the vanilla bean, the neroli, and the musk. Okay, now, I mentioned I thought this was a very pure scent, and here's why. Because to my nose, the only thing that I get is the cranberry and the orange, and it's delightful. It is probably more mandarin than it is orange, because I, I find, personally, I find mandarin just a little bit sweeter and a little bit more even citrusy smelling than I do straight up orange scents. So I would say to me, this smells like a really nice tart cranberry with some sweetness. This one does have the sweetness to go along with the cranberry, whereas the cranberry is more tart. Um, and then that beautiful like mandarin. And I do not, I'm sure these other notes are in there. I'm sure the lemon zest is probably in there for sure. I don't pick it up on my, uh, to my nose. I don't get the strawberry. I don't pick up the pomegranate. Those are not ones that like stand out at all, either on cold sniff or when I'm burning it. So I don't know if my nose is immune <laughs> or if it's just that the cranberry and the orange are so predominant in here or the cranberry and the mandarin that um, I, I really can't get past those two notes. Um, the base notes of vanilla bean, neroli, and musk no, um, especially that musk. I feel like that's a huge turnoff for some people when they see that in the description of a candle. But a lot of times the musk adds a really nice kind of earthy, like grounding note to a candle. Um, so I'm sure it's in here. I, I don't pick it up though. This There are musks that smell musky and there are musks that just kind of help to transform the fragrance a little bit. And I definitely don't get vanilla bean. I usually can pick vanilla up from a mile away because I love vanilla. That's definitely my favorite type of note in any type of home fragrance or personal fragrance for that matter. I have a vanilla perfume collection that is growing by the freaking day. I just, I love it. It's, it pairs really nicely with my own personal body chemistry. So it, it's a great scent for me. Um, but I, I don't pick it up in here at all. So for me, this is mostly just the um, the cranberry and that mandarin. If you like that classic pure holiday scent, this would definitely be the candle for you. This does come in a couple of different formats from them. Um, it comes in this large jar here. You can pick it up in the daylights if you just want to test it out, which I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. Um, sometimes it's really nice to just buy a bunch of daylights test the different scents out, um, see how you like them both on cold sniff and when they're burning. Now you're not gonna get like a bunch of strength and throw out of these daylights. That's not the point of these. It's to help you imagine what a full-size candle could smell like because a lot of uh, scents smell very different when they are on cold versus when you light them. So the daylights are just to give you an idea of, okay, this is what this smells like when it's burning. If you really wanna get the full experience though, you're gonna have to purchase the full size candle. So um, this also comes in the uh, wax melts as well. So if you're interested in that, you can do that. Um, I know a lot of people utilize uh, scents like this into the new year. I kind of cut myself off at, right after the holidays. Um, I get that holiday blues feeling the day after Christmas. I just get so bummed that the holidays are over and I very much cut myself off from fragrances at that point that remind me of the holidays because it just kind of bums me out. But let me tell you guys about the strength and throw and then I'll tell you why this is not lit and wh where it's heading next. You might, you might know where it's going. First off, the strength is about a five. So it has some good strength to it, but um, I'm not getting much throw from this. So for me, this one, I have had it in several different places in the house. I've had it in the entryway where it does the best, but that is what I call my fragrance vortex. So I could definitely finish it there. Um, but in most of the other rooms of my house, the throw is only about like 
mm, I would say a three or four. It's more of a room specific candle. And that's kind of what I'm finding with these country candles is that they're great for like a room, but I don't find that they travel much outside of that. Um, no matter where I put them with the little bit of the exception of the entryway. That one is sort of a special spot for me and any candle that I struggle with, I just kind of stick there because I know it'll work. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of paraffin wax, I have to say. Now that I have tried their soy formula, that's really the formula for me from this particular company. Um, I just prefer the burn of that, it's very clean. It's not that this has a dirty burn, but you can see there's some residue that kind of sticks behind, which it's not bad. It's not wax. It's just some residue from the wax. There is a little bit of discoloration that I noticed. Um, I think it's just from the wick residue kind of falling back into the wax. I do tend to burn paraffin wax, uh, paraffin wax candles a little bit longer. So there is more of an opportunity for the wax to discolor from the wicks over time. These wicks, by the way, I have never trimmed. They have been this length forever, um, ever since I lit the candle. And it's, it's plenty of wick height. They might look like they might be puny wicks, but it's, it's more than, an, you can see the wax pool I get. Like this is, this is one wax pool worth right here. You can see that little bit of discoloration. That is because that that wax is burned, and um, so I get uh, I get the classic like minimum inch wax pool that I think is necessary to really have a candle that throws um, and burns really well. So I've I've got that, but I just don't get the strength and the throw from the country candle. Um, and uh, admittedly, this jar is, is not really my favorite style. Um, I do think it lends itself to a much more like country type of vibe. Um, it's like an older style jar to my eyes and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but just combining the jar with this particular type of wax, um, I just, what, the candles that I've been purchasing from Kringle have all been from the two wick um, soy formula. Like that's that's what I'm buying uh, when I'm shopping with Kringle. By the way, I will actually, I'm getting my last Kringle order that I placed um, today. Maybe I'll do a little haul over on Instagram. Um, and I'm filming this on Wednesday, so it might be gone off my Instagram. We'll see. Um, but anyway. I'll share my last Kringle candle haul over there, but um, yeah, I like this one. I definitely give the fragrance itself two thumbs up. If you like this type of fragrance, this is definitely for you. Um, if you don't like paraffin wax, I would suggest maybe getting this in, um, in their wax melts. Or if they would ever consider putting this in the two wick soy formula, I definitely buy it again. I would definitely buy it again if that was the case, but I don't think I would repurchase it here. What I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna take it upstairs and I'm gonna put it in my candle crock in my filming room. I love the scent. I'm just gonna finish it out there. Um, normally, like I said, I wouldn't burn this after the holidays anyway, and at the rate that this, how slowly this is burning, I'm, I'm not gonna finish this before the end of December, and I am not the person that saves candles for the following year to like burn them. If I have a candle that is like at the halfway point or less, um, it, I'm going to finish burning it. <laughs> I'm going to do like a power burn and get through it so that I can recycle the glass and like get rid of it. I don't want to store a half burned candle. So for me, that's going to be most appropriate to stick into a candle crock. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I will link my candle crock 101 video in the description box down below. Great thing to have if you have candles that don't behave because you get a lot of um, life out of your candles with those. Um, and if you don't like dealing with flames, uh, that's another reason to get a candle crop or a candle lamp. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a candle lamp uh, next year at some point, so um, I haven't purchased one yet. For some reason, I keep putting it off, but I, de I definitely know that I love my crocs. <laughs> you guys have heard me talk about them in every weekly home fragrance roundup. Speaking of the weekly home fragrance roundup, if you missed the video that I did with 
uh, Brett from over at Philly Candleman. Thank you, Brett, by the way, for inviting me on your channel. And with um, Mick from uh, Kringle, uh, we kind of got a huge surprise in that video, and I'm going to be talking about it a little bit in the weekly home fragrance roundup. So make sure that you're subscribed if you are new. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful in any kind of way, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. I'll put links in the description box down below, like I said. And um, yeah, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. There will be some more candle reviews coming up on Sunday, so we're going to continue to plow through. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo!